Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 948, the category Friday Night Pub Quiz, number 31. This is the last Friday Night Pub Quiz before we go to the Final 50 Challenge. Today is obviously Friday. The Final 50 Challenge starts on Monday. We've got a couple of lightning rounds between then and now, but it's going to be a good week and a good month of trivia, and good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. Examples of these include the Basawa in Nicaragua, the Bile in India, and Ituri in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. These places have a top layer called Emergent, above a canopy, understory, and floor. Up to 75% of Earth's species live in what places? Those are all examples of specific rainforests. Question number two, what is the term that can be used for either a legal notice that a person is being charged with a petty offense such as a traffic violation or an official statement of the accomplishments of someone being honored? The answer is a citation. Question 3. In the summer of 2009, ABC aired its 10th anniversary episodes of what show that was hosted by Regis Philbin in which contestants try to get 15 multiple choice questions correct, sometimes by using lifelines, to win a large sum of money. That show was called, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number four, the French words for pretty red that described a red flag flown by French buccaneers may give us the term for what skull and crossbones on a black background most commonly associated with being flown by pirates. The Jolly Rouge is now the Jolly Roger. Question number five. One character in this book says that he did ten hours of lessons on the first day, nine the next, and so on. That's why they are called lessons, he said, because the time lessens each day. The Caucus Race in what Lewis Carroll book is one with no start, no end, and prizes for everyone? That wacky book was Alice in Wonderland. Question number six, act five, scene one of this play shows a gravedigger with the skull of Yorick, a former jester at Elsinore Castle. The title character dies after a sword duel with Laertes after contemplating suicide during the to be or not to be speech. What is this Shakespearean play about a prince in Denmark? The answer is Hamlet. Question number seven. In ancient times, the Chinese invented one of these using lodestone to arrange buildings according to feng shui harmony principles. One of these can be used with a sextant to calculate latitude and the gyrotype of what instrument is common on today's ships. The instrument we're looking for is a compass. Question number eight. A group of these is a blessing, and in myth, one could be tamed by a virgin. Denmark's royal throne was said to be made of these creatures, and Harry Potter serves detention by searching in the forbidden forest for one of what kind of creature whose blood is used by Voldemort for strength.
That creature is a unicorn. Question 9. Winslow Homer's Summer Squall is an example of what kind of painting that depicts coastlines, oceans, or waves, similar to the way in which the countryside is shown in a landscape? It's not a landscape, it is a seascape. Question number 10. This character appears with Jewels of Opar, The Golden Lion, and The Leopard Men in a 25-book series by Edgar Rice Burroughs. What man's parents were marooned in Africa and whose son Jack takes the name of Korak the Killer? All of those stories are about Tarzan. Question number 11. Renee Fleming, who performs Countess Almaviva in The Marriage of Figaro, and Maria Callas, who performed Tosca, were two opera singers that sang what voice part which often has the highest notes? They were both very famous sopranos. Question number 12. While the ancient Greek playwright Aristophanes was known for his comedies, writers such as Sophocles and Euripides were known for creating what kind of popular plays that show humans suffering? Those type of plays were called tragedies. Question number 13. In a folk tale, who is recruited by a Maghreb sorcerer and ultimately marries Badrulbador, the emperor's daughter, after being given a ring to avoid traps in a cave containing a mystical treasure? The name we know him by is Aladdin. Question 14. The primary components of the lithosphere, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, are the classes of what geologic substance that comes in pumice, basalt, and granite varieties? I feel like this one is very easy to overthink. The answer is rock. Question number 15. What birds coming in great horned, screech, snowy, and barn varieties can rotate their entire heads an impressive 270 degrees, but contrary to popular myth, they cannot turn it all the way around? All of those birds are types of owls. Question 16. Charles Darwin was a naturalist on what ship that traveled to the Galapagos, also the name of a dog breed thought to have been derived from southern hounds that includes the Peanuts character Snoopy. The name of Darwin's ship was the Beagle. Question 17. The Tianlong that guard heavenly places, Shenlong that control the weather, and Huanglong that protect emperors are the three of the nine types of what Chinese mythical creatures 
popular in stories and tales from that country. Tianlong, Shenlong, and Huanglong are all types of dragons. Question 18. The Comstock Load, a rich deposit of silver, was named for Henry Comstock, who was part owner of the property on which it was discovered in June of 1859. In what American state was the Comstock Load discovered? The answer is Nevada. Question number 19. In a 2006 video game, this company's mascot, who has a subservient chicken, must sneak up behind people and offer food, and it helped create mobile games such as Flip My Bun and Fry a Soul. The Croissantwich, Stacker, and Tinder Grill are products sold at what? Home of the Whopper. The answer is Burger King. And question 20. The main character of this work remembers sitting alone in the schoolhouse reading about Alibaba and Robinson Crusoe. In the final chapter of what Dickens novel, the main character catches a worker arriving 18 minutes late and, in an out-of-character move, raises that worker's salary. That Dickens tale is A Christmas Carol. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you for watching the final Friday night pub quiz uh, before we hit episode number 1000. It is only Friday. Monday starts the final 50 challenge. Now, I've only just barely looked through the final 50 challenge submissions just to make sure the questions were long enough, just to make sure that they weren't too long, that there were no bad words, but I haven't really dug into the content. The content. But what I'm guessing is we're going to have some easy questions, we're going to have some hard questions, and we're going to have some right in the middle. Now, there's several ways you can play these type of trivia quizzes. If you're sitting there playing at home, you can, you know, you're just playing against yourself, so you're keeping track of how your score's going. You let me know how your score's going. Or if you're playing against other people, it's not whether or not you know the question. Some of these questions that are pretty easy, it's speed is the name of the game. You know, like the lightning rounds, it's not just being right, it's being first. So if you're playing against other people, in some of these easier questions, the winner's just going to be whoever shouts it out first. Um, one of the things that a lot of people do that are watching the channel right now, they post their scores in the comments of the videos. Um, and only a few people do it right now, and it's only on some of the videos. But during the Final 50 Challenge, I would love it if everybody was posting their scores and any comments they had down below the video because the quizzes that we're going to do starting on Monday and running through hopefully episode 1000, 50 episodes, these will all be written by viewers of this channel. So this is not me, this is not people that I'm paying to write these quizzes, this is viewers of the show just like you. They've submitted a 25 question trivia quiz, it'll get trimmed down to 21, but they're going to be excellent submissions from viewers just like you and I think it would be really cool if everybody who was watching these kind of gave them some comments you know it doesn't always have to be just blatant compliments I mean if you didn't like it you can say that if you'd like I guess but give us your score let us know how you did I think it's really cool for people who are submitting this stuff to get some feedback from the audience and you know there's a lot of people that watch this channel now in comparison to some of the bigger channels, it's probably not you know a crazy amount. But like yesterday, we had over 8,000 views on this channel. 
I think that's that's huge. Some of these quizzes aren't that big, so to have 8,000 people watching these videos is crazy to me. And the people who are submitting it, like I said, they're not professional quiz writers. I'm not buying these off of the internet. These are viewers of the channel who, some of them, for the first time, have submitted a 21 question trivia quiz and they're just kind of throwing it out there and giving this channel some content, giving you guys a game to play, keeping this channel going while I'm traveling between England and America and Hawaii and Vegas. I'm bouncing all over the next month and there was just no way that I could keep up the one a day trivia quiz. So everybody who submitted a quiz has offered to help out this channel and if you could do a do me a favor and do them a favor and comment below the video and just let them know what your score was and how you enjoyed it, uh, I just think that'd be great. I think that really, you know, we're kind of building a nice little trivia community here at this channel. I know in a lot of the premieres, people are talking back and forth. People are starting to recognize other people in the comments and in the chat room. So. I just think it's going really well, and I think the next month worth of trivia is going to be a really good time for a lot of people, and I hope you guys enjoy it and understand the people who wrote these trivia quizzes. It's kind of a lot of work to write a good 21-question trivia quiz, so I hope you appreciate that, and feel free to let them know in the comments below these videos. Again, the Final 50 Challenge starts on Monday. Whew. That was a mouthful. Okay, question 21, the tiebreaker for today's trivia, the final Friday night pub quiz trivia before episode 1000. The cestius one of these in Rome was built in the first century BC for a magistrate and formed part of the city defenses. The Cholua one of these in Mexico is the largest by volume in the world. The African Nubian civilization built 220 of what kind of structure? Some with slant angles as steep as 70 degrees. These are not the civilizations that you're used to hearing about building these kind of structures. All of these type of structures are pyramids. The answer, pyramid. All right, that is it for today. Again, thank you everybody who watches this channel. Thank you for everybody who submitted quizzes to get us through the next 30 days while I'm bouncing around and traveling around. I could not do it without you, and I hope everybody who's watching who did or didn't submit a trivia quiz, make sure you let the people know in the comments how much you liked their trivia quiz or any constructive criticism if you'd like uh, you know let them know what you thought and tell us what score you got on these trivia quizzes it's gonna be a month of random trivia which is everybody's favorite trivia anyway so I I think we're gonna have a good time I think we're gonna be surprised about how many views we get and how many people start watching this channel feel free to share um, Post it on Facebook, post it on Instagram. If you've wrote a trivia quiz, I'll be getting in touch with you before I post yours and letting you know what day it's going to show up. You can let your friends know that a quiz that you wrote is about to be seen by thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of people by the time the month is over. So I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too. See you then. This is the last episode that I recorded in England. I started this channel January 1st of 2020. Episode number one came out that day. Um, I'd been in England for about two or three months and was looking for something to do on YouTube. I started the channel and shortly afterwards England went into lockdown and then I kept doing it. 
kind of to keep myself busy. By the time we came out of lockdown, I'd already done over a year of trivia. I decided to keep with it. Uh, Then after about a year and a half, I decided I was going to go to episode 1000, even though that put me slightly past the date that we would be leaving the country. Um, When I decided I was doing 1000, I thought I would get ahead a little bit and do these last 50 quizzes before I left England, and I thought that was going to be the end of the trivia channel. I was just going to kind of let it fizzle out and die after that. But since about 13 months after I started, it has done nothing but get bigger and bigger and bigger, and more and more people are subscribing, and tons of people are commenting and sending me emails, and I feel like they really want this channel to keep going, so I'm looking forward to continuing on past episode number 1000. I've got a spotty plan between 1000 and the end of this year, 2022, but I'm starting to build a solid plan for 2023 to continue this channel, even though I'll be back in the States and have the opportunity to do uh, real work and have a real job again. So I'm not sure exactly what the plan for the channel is, but I do know we will be continuing past episode number 1000. Thank you to everybody who is watching this, and thank you to everybody who has subscribed to Road Trivia. It has been a treat.